We're here with Gateway to Change at the Brown School of Social Work on the Washington University campus learning about systems thinking. Yeah, so this event is lots of many, many people's shared vision. So lots of different people came to the table to look for an event like this. Years wanted to take these tools and run a whole institute. And then there was this sort of parallel experience going on, which was the Gateway to Change movement, um, headed up by Drew Short. Really wanted to do an event like this. We believe very strongly as a lab that youth empowerment is really important. Systems thinking at a younger age will lead to better systems of organization in the future. So all of these people came together to create this one experience. And so basically with system thinking, you think about like what causes this to happen with human life or anything related to uh, like how humans live or you know money, anything you can think about what causes this to happen and it's always um, settled into a gap. So let's talk a little bit about how we do system dynamics. Dynamics is the use of informal maps and formal models and computer simulation to uncover and understand endogenous sources of system behavior. So what, what do we mean by that? Well, system behavior. Systems thinking is, in some ways, just the opposite of linear thinking, where you see sort of an event happen, and then you see another event happen, and you just sort of think like A to B, and that's it. Um, Systems thinking is realizing that we live in very complicated and complex uh, systems and, and patterns uh, actually are defined by structures that underlie them. So it's mixed. So yeah, it's pretty mixed. But it is very separate though, which I was trying to tell the principal. It is separate. It's very separate. Black people sit on this side of school, white kids sit on this side of school. No one really wants to interact with each other. Why? I don't know. Com I guess comfortability. I'm not going to lie. When I'm in like my AP classes, I will sit next to my, you know, a fellow black people because I feel more comfortable. Why? How do you think systems thinking um, relates to racial injustice? Systems thinking relates to that because um, the way that people think causes a loop to the way other people think and it causes other people to think this way, so it's like a chain reaction. So systems thinking is how we uncover some of those basic underlying structural elements of certain things so that we can understand what's going on in the world around us. Um, so, yeah, and, and group model building is a very specific type of systems dynamics that we do at the lab, which is we're building models um, that will show us what the systems and what the relationships among various parts of the system look like. But we build them collaboratively with groups of people um, who will be using the models themselves. and it's a, a form of empowerment that way as well as like the le models are much more useful mm -hmm. if they're created actually by people who will eventually be gleaning the insights. So.